Hello everyone. Today we are listening to a very interesting story, Clever Cakes, and it's written by Michael Rosen. Once there was a girl called Masha who lived with her granny at the edge of the woods. One day Masha said, "Granny, can I play outside with my friends?" "Yes, Masha," said Granny, "but don't wander off into the woods, will you?" There are dangerous animals there that bite. Off went Masha to play with her friends. They played hide and seek. Masha went away to hide and she hid right deep in the woods. Then she waited for her friends to find her. She waited and waited, but they never came. So Masha came out of her hiding place and started to walk home. She walked this way then that way but very soon she knew she was lost help she shouted help but no one came then very suddenly up came a massive muscly bear ah ah said the bear you come with me little girl i'm taking you home i want you to cook my dinner wash my trousers and scrub the floor in my house I don't want to do that or anything like it. Thank you very much," said Masha. "I want to go home." "Oh no, you don't," said the bear. "You are coming home with me." And he picked up Masha in his massive muscly paws and took her off to her his house. So now Masha had to cook and clean and wash and dust all day long, and she hated it. And she hated the massive muscly bear so she made a plan she cooked some cakes and then she said to the bear mr bear do you think i could take some cakes to my granny i am not falling for a stupid trick like that thought the bear if i let her go to her granny's she will never come back no you can't he said i'll take your cakes to her myself and he thought i will eat all those cakes yum yum and yum again right said masha i'll put the cakes in this basket don't eat them on the way to granny's will you because if you do something terrible will happen to you of course i won't eat the cakes said the bear as soon as the bear's back was turned masha jumped into the basket when he turned round he picked up the basket and walked off after a while the bear got tired ooh that basket was so heavy it was pulling off his arm so he sat down now for the cakes he said but masha called out from inside the basket don't you eat us mr bear we are little cakes for masha's granny you should have seen that bear jump the cakes hurt me Oh yes, Masha did say if I ate them something terrible would happen to me. I'd better leave them alone. So up got the bear and walked on and on and on until he began to feel hungry. He thought, if I could eat the cakes without them knowing, surely nothing terrible will happen to me. But how can I eat them without them knowing? Then he said out loud, "Ooh, I wonder if those little cakes would like to hop out of the basket and come for a walk with me. But Masha called out from inside the basket, "Don't you dare touch us, you great greedy glut. We are little cakes for Masha's granny." The bear nearly jumped out of his jacket. "Woohoo! Those devilish little cakes knew that was a trick." What clever cakes! Next time I won't say anything at all. I'll just sit down and gobble them up. Yum yum and yum again. So up he got and walked on and on and on. But now the bear was getting really very very hungry. It felt like there was a huge hole in his belly. This time he remembered not to speak. Very carefully he sat down and slowly he reached out his massive muscly paw for the basket but Masha
peeking through the holes in the basket, could see that the bear was up to and she called out. Don't you dare touch us, you horrible, great, greedy glut. We are little cakes for Masha's granny and if you touch us, we'll jump out of the basket faster than you can blink and we'll eat you up, ears and all. Zoo, those cakes must be magic, said the bear. I'd be crazy to touch them. I'd better take them to Masha's granny as quickly as I can or something terrible will happen to me. And he hurried on to Granny's house. When he got there, he shouted, Open the door, Granny! Granny came to the door and when she saw a great big bear standing there, she was scared stiff. But little Masha called out from the basket, Look out, bear! Your time's up! Now we are going to eat you! The bear dropped the basket, turned and ran off, shouting, Help! Help! The cakes are going to eat me! The cakes are going to eat me! As soon as the bear was off and away, out of the basket popped Masha. Oh, how pleased Granny was to see her and how pleased Masha was to see her Granny. They hugged and kissed each other so many times that there were no kisses left till the next day. What a clever girl you are to trick that big bear, said Granny. Never mind that, said Masha. Let's get these cakes inside us. And that's what they did. Yum, yum and yum again.